and welcome to Tupperberry Arts Draw at Home. Today we are going to draw a Chinese lantern, so let's get started. We're going to start with the very top of the lantern. So start by drawing that little oval. It's really thin. And then we're going to draw two little lines down on either ends of it. And as you can see, we've got that curvature. So I want you to match that curvature right underneath it. I'm going to draw a straight line to identify the middle and then draw an oval right around that. I'm going to add a larger one from each side coming out, meeting to the bottom point again. The last of my curved lines are coming from the edge of the lantern top. And now you'll see a real oval shape as you'll see highlighted in my yellow oval. Now we have to add the bottom of the lantern. So lining up with the top part, see how that comes down? We will draw two lines that look like they match the ones above. See that curved line again? We'll do the same little curved line to give it a bottom under there. And then for fun, you could add decoration. So I'm adding what would be like a little tassel underneath. Maybe a little string and a little decoration comes down below it. So you can add one of these, a couple of these. You can get creative. Throw in the top of the lantern because it needs to hang from something. I've got a little triangle and a line. And now I can reinforce my lantern and I'm getting ready to color it. Let's make sure to add some shading so we have cooler pictures that stand out. You can pretend that the sun is coming from the left and the first thing you're gonna do is add the light color red on anything closest to the sun. Then I'll pick my darker color and blend on top. I've added a little yellow for gold and inside I've even added a darker yellow. So color, blend those colors on top of each other, make it nice and smooth, make it stand out and give it that shading that will give it shape. Just for fun, I'm gonna throw in a little pattern across the gold top and bottom. You can leave your lantern like this, or you can make it look just like they hang them up in the streets with lots behind. Look how I have a zigzag line you can start with. You already know how to draw a lantern, so just repeat this process a few times over, having them hang from the line. And notice the further away they get, the smaller the lantern gets. I have varied the direction in which my lanterns are swinging, which you can do as well. Finish the line, make it look like it's a street, celebrating the festival of lanterns. And that is it, you are done. Thank you so much for doing Draw at Home with Tupperberry Art. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and come back and do another drawing with me.